my voice did not record during this actual gameplay. When you're off to the beach. Oh, we gotta listen to this. Or a day at the park. Doesn't matter the time. Cause it glows in the dark. Yeah. You can leave your toys home. Except for just one. Cause you can't leave your fling man. Without leaving fun! <laughs> Never leave your fling man. Okay. Now that was the best part of the video. Just kidding, we got cool stuff going on. So <clears throat> Yeah, like I was saying, the voice recording did not show. I think I'll are the software that I use for, like, on top of my mic to eliminate background noise. What's on is my, my best assumption. Even though I recorded this literally right after part two, so I, did, I don't know what's going on. So I figured I would try just doing a, a voiceover while watching this with you guys. So you'd have some sort of commentary. <laughs> Not the the biggest fan of the spiderlings. They're pretty, quite annoying. Science. I will say I remember the hedge lab being a lot harder. Like I, I just remember it having a lot more Orb Weaver Juniors than it, than it does now. So I don't know if that was a change at some point. I could just be crazy. Today, Trudy asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. I'll admit the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beach's Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. A particular attraction sported a zipline over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers, basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> but I digress. It was the zip line that captured my imagination. Yeah, so I ate Such that meal because of the fall to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. So here's the main hedge lab area. Yeah. So that's the I think the first tooth we've seen. Um, I marked that course, one off the list. I'm yeah, really lucky with these gold cards. Um, see how those teeth that you can find throughout the yard. Once you get a tier two hammer or tier three, uh, you can you can bust them open and you get these thing called these things called uh, milk molars, and uh, they're basically skill points that you can use to increase the amount of mutations you can have at one time or uh, another gold card. Uh, there's a lot of different things. I think like health, stamina, how well uh, healing items heal you. A lot, of, a lot of neat stuff. Oh. Whatever game designer put a uh, leak right under there. Thank you. remember I saved a lot during this. And this is where I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna die. Because I can't get through that door yet.
Look at that berry. So one thing that I did here, um, I go ahead and go for the passwords as I'm going through the main areas, um, just because I already knew that I needed them for the very end of the, the maze. Hey, miss me. There's password scribble number one. I believe there were four total. Rascal Rogue is pretty great. Um, gives you a chance to steal an item from a bug, and uh, when you're when you're farming for parts, it is fantastic. I had honestly forgotten that they added those figurines to the game, uh, but the, I think there's one in every single like lab, if I'm not mistaken. science in my hands. What does it even mean? So there's password number two. Ouch. So I forgot to activate the resource surveyor on the way over here. So eventually I'll have to come back and do that. Very nice to have. I really don't use it very often, uh, except for when I'm trying to play debugs, because sometimes they can be a little difficult. Unlocking a few shortcuts here. Taking a new one for the beast, Jerry. As you can see, the spear is not very effective here. <laughs> this whole fight was pretty frustrating because I would I would run out of stamina, and every time I start to regen, uh, I had to block. So I lose it from from the block. So 
Metropolis. But at this point, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna die to a one hit. Probably <laughs> three. But really, I couldn't get any stamina. <laughs> There we go. So, third password. That honestly, I don't know I would have noticed it had I not killed the spider right there. I remember there's there's always one, typically, whenever I play this, the, the Hedge Lab in every playthrough, uh, where I just don't know where it is and I have to like backtrack and attempt to find it. Very, very neat design, though, I think. And we're drinking that Hedgelord smoothie so that we get, uh, what is it, moist and cooler, I think are the status effects, but you just don't thirst as quickly or hunger as quickly. It's nice. Thorns, which that amelant gives you. Uh, also, pretty nice. Uh, like a lot of RPGs, it just you know you get you get hit and you deal damage as well on that. Hit. Don't forget that berry, I've, I've fallen down many a time because of that. Nice and clean. That's why you make a canteen early. So now we've unlocked all the sh main shortcuts, I believe. Except for that one. And there's the last password. My original hope... Ooh, good, we got Perry Masters too. Um, the original hope was that I could just grab it and run through, but as you can see, there's webbing on the floor. Then I got overconfident and thought, oh, I'll be fine. A little chewy, but not bad. Ouch. Yeah, this part was pretty scary. <laughs> really thought I was gonna die from the excess poison, but fortunately we had those granola bars kept us okay. Uh, and if you notice, the armor broke, but stayed in the armor slot, which really surprised me. Uh, back in the day, if armor broke, uh, it would get in your inventory, and if there was no room in your inventory, it would just drop it. So you could just kind of randomly lose armor pieces. I can't tell you how many times I've lost a piece or two of this bee armor because of that in this hedge lab. Uh, so, very, very nice quality of life thing that they did. This, this part's just me going like, what? That's crazy. Um, it's really nice. That's like something so small, but it's huge for gameplay. And we got another scabby.
So at this point, I was thinking I, I really don't remember the right way to get there. <laughs> to get to the terminal to hear the passwords. And then I thought, oh right, I can just get on top. Kind of follow this, whatever it is, tube, all the way down to where that battery was. done here is to the right there there's the branch and you can follow it up to a little secret hatch seeing you didn't get the uh, BLT recipe should have done that while I was here but that's okay that's as you trip back all right so that's the way you're supposed to go <laughs> and not the way that I did Looking back at the recording now, I wish I'd noticed that water cooler to the left. Early test runs on the zipline system have produced mixed results. Prices on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my original idea, spider thread. I'm using web samples from my unwanted guests, with a few clever alterations, of course. Things were going well until Sarah threw yet another toy into the hedge. I swear that the lost city of Atlantis might be found beneath the roots of this blasted bush. I told them both, no baseballs, no flingman discs, no more throwing! to find a way to strengthen the zip lines and I've forbidden the children from playing in the yard temporarily, of course. Dinner will be, I would say, awkward, I suspect. So I'd forgotten that you have to double tap the terminal, even if you already have the passwords for, for the door to open. <laughs> Here's our first super, super chip. chip we'll get Burgle's memories off of this. And our first duper disc. I I have to so blow these on allow it. you to duplicate that usually any solves item the problem. in the game. That not, or flipping the console upside down. Not incredibly useful oh, or in maybe single some player for the most part, but in multiplayer it is. Off. You know, if you have a really good set of armor or gear that you want to uh, give to someone. likely that this will be my last log from the hedge lab. Regrettably, the spider infestation is only worsened. Last night, I had a close encounter with a giant broodmother that shook me to my core. Couple that with the strange radio signals I've been receiving, and I no longer think this facility is safe. in the mainframe. Is that really necessary, sir? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely necessary. Oh, watched. All right, so that is the hedge lab. Minus all the milk molars and uh, a few raw science things that, it, that like that one over there. I think I had the bright idea that I wanted to take on a normal spider. Uh, 
But we don't do that because, you know, nighttime is scary. I believe that's why I switched this uh, rotten larva blade. What I remember. Originally, I was gonna go with a uh, spider armor build because it gives you extra poison damage, and then you can use the uh, the spider dagger. However, don't do that initially. Um, I believe we end up going for the ladybug armor to have more of a healing option. It's just a really, really good set not to use, especially on low mode. Uh, or too good of a set not to use, I mean. I will say my general late game armor is the uh, Black Widow set. Really enjoy it. The Bard armor, which I played around with last time I played this, which was right when the last update came out with the, the Wasp Queen. Uh... That's a lot of fun, like the archery builds that you can do. So I may play around more with that at a later date. So now is the super annoying run from the edge back to my house. Um, most of the time when I do this, there's a lot of mosquitoes out. And mosquitoes are just as annoying in this game as they are life. <laughs> Don't even need to boil it. Probably more so, honestly. They uh, never really leave you alone if they <sighs> find you. <sighs> I believe it was at this point I realized that I should be pretty close to the area where the four leaf clover is, and it gives you a critical hit mutation that's really, really good. So that's kind of my attempt to figure out where that is. And it's not there. I just heard a wolf spider, so I was freaking out a little bit. There's always one that kind of patrols over here. There it is. This uh, leaf in a little tiny puddle is kind of a landmark. Now immediately gets get disoriented, but now we're back on track. If you don't have your brightness up, this is actually pretty difficult to navigate. And we got ourselves a scabby. There she is. Wow. Coop de grass. Fantastic mutation. Some quartzite. I think there's some marble in here as well. Got the uh, big boy quartzite over there that we can't get yet.
should be pretty free to run straight back to the house. I don't think there's a lot that can catch up to us here. Heard a spider somewhere. There, there is like one or two spiders that left. That is a big spider. Like I don't think hang I'm out high enough level to take on such a foe. Good stuff. Yeah, the uh, silk and the clay was one of the more important things so that we can get a uh, spinner. Don't remember what it's actually called, but the thing that really spin uh, silk into silk rope. Or webbing, I mean, the silk rope. It's always moments like this where I really appreciate the music. So I think right here I was trying to figure out if I had enough berries or berry chunks to make leather. Like enough leather for the uh, ladybug parts. system is just so convenient. <laughs> I mean, the way that you can just copy already built structures is just so nice. The thought was, well, you know, our armor is really broken, so a little safer now. even though the ant armor is not very good, we might as well put, put it on, have some sort of protection. A second, what am I doing? I need to make that spinner thing so that I can go ahead and have it make some rope while I'm out and do stuff. frustrated because I was like what why does it need ant parts that's dumb good news is we're right next to that ant hill
Taking a look. Here's where we spot our first ladybug. So I thought, well, you know, might as well. So that went weirdly well. Uh, don't worry, that does not happen again. You know, it's all like rope. Rope's always the last ingredient <laughs> that, that I'm missing. Alright, good stuff. So we got the silk going. Now I've unlocked the lady bug armor, and I think this was the point where I realized, oh, no, I should go for the ladybug car. So I'm kind of taking stock on what I need. I already have the leather. And pretend, you know, I'm going into detail here, but I, honestly, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> So I think at this point we're just wandering around, hoping they'll find another ladybug. Uh, unfortunately, I did not unlock that surveyor at the hedge lab. I should have. Uh, 
I was being silly and forgot. But that's okay. I was trying to think about all the spots that I normally see them at. Um, this side of the oak tree can be a little dangerous as far as spiders go. So I was trying to keep, you know, a wide berth here. I was very happy to get Natural Explorer as well, because that, that really, really helps with the sprinting speed. Hopefully you can tell there's a big difference. So here's uh here's here's the first ladybug. Oh, it's not a good guitar, huh? Mm. Salt. <laughs> Immediately healed himself, so that's just great. And I'm dead. So I told you the first one was a fluke. And it looks like I forgot to cut out the loading here. Sorry about that. I spy. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work, but I think it just made him angrier. That one. Yep, yep. There's two in a row. Man, I really screwed up the uh, loading cut. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, fourth time's the term. Just pretend to be a turkey. the dynamite. So that was a really good drop, we got the ladybug head. Kind of semi-rare sometimes, so that, that was definitely great. And I was trying to figure out how many parts I need. So it looked like I needed one more ladybug, maybe two. Sometimes I can make that jump, sometimes I can't. Kind of like Dark Souls, you can get into a certain groove, and once you do, everything flows real well, but if you get out of that groove, like, 
right there. It just it, things happen. And here I'm just, you know, regretting my decisions. Immediate heal. <laughs> Maybe third time's the charm. Here. I'm thinking about it. I re you know, I really wish they made a tier three loop of our stuff. Still, as of today, they haven't. Um, but they're still adding content, so you never know. It'd be cool to have a tier three uh, armor. Yum. Trivia for you. The uh, ladybug armor used to have kind of like a constant bandage effect. Very, very OP. Uh, they've, they've nerfed it a lot, but it's still pretty incredible. Uh, I think they do a really good job with the, the balancing of items in this. So, from what I remember, I think I have enough parts. So I'm just trying to go and get the uh, petals I need. No water filtration tablets needed. However, there are a lot of spiders over here. Just double check in here. So it looks like I've got everything. So conveniently found one more ladybug. <laughs> I tried to do the smart thing and wait for the stamina to recover. So close. Not a good start. Definitely not a good start. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah, I was, I was uh, but uh, no good excuse for that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
close. So we got everything we need now. All right, so we got the tier two armor. Bummer. It's one of my favorite sets. Uh, Widow armor, definitely my favorite, but this is a pretty close second and third, I'd say. Uh, also, just looks really, really cool. So it gives you block strength, which is fantastic, but the overall armor set gives you Scarlet Embrace. Uh, yeah, it's heavy armor, so you use more stamina when you swing. Uh, Scarlet Embrace, occasionally heal after blocking attacks. So whenever that proc, it's kind of like a bandage. So it's not like how the original armor was, where it was just constantly a bandage being applied to you. But it's still incredibly good. Uh, it also, I believe it helps with uh, healing items. I think I may have missed that somewhere. I believe it increases like your potency of bandages and smoothies and all that stuff. So, very very good set of, set of armor, especially early on. And conveniently, we had all the stuff for the insect axe, so I was very, very happy. Uh, that's huge as well. So the next episode will probably focus on, if I remember, <laughs> on getting the uh, insect hammer. Yeah. Now, how we're we gonna take out stink bugs? I, I don't know. I don't know. It'll be interesting, to say the least. We'll probably have to get a gas mask first. turned in all those rocks that we got earlier into the correct whetstones and platings and got a little bit of an armor upgrade going for the ladybug armor oh right the slick route is where it gives you better healing just remember that so currently it gives you the whole you know on a perfect block you'll get a bandage effect, 
but when you get into the slick route on the upgrades, that's when it lets you uh, have better healing from smoothies and bandages. Aww, what guy's got allergies? And like we were talking about before, it's always rope. It's always the, always the last ingredient that I need. Got way too many plant fibers. Can never really have too many. So we got a decent amount of upgrades going on on the armor makes me happy. So I think we got a lot done this episode. Um, a surprising amount, honestly. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really think the armor design is really, really cool. <laughs> Ladybug armor. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this voice turned out okay. Uh, next episode we'll probably look into the pond and try and go ahead and get that, that purple chip there. So Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching.